On today's video, I'm going to check and see how much capacity a used lithium iron phosphate battery has. Let's get right into it. So this is a piggyback video to that other capacity test video I did on the Wheeze or Wise battery. This battery was in operation the same amount of time, the exact same system conditions as the other battery. I want to see if this battery has lost as much capacity as the other one. So same thing, this battery was in operation from 5824 to 112025. And when new, this battery delivered 1293 watt hours. Charging the battery up before the capacity test. Looks like it got to around 14.44 volts before completing its cycle. We've got the battery connected to the capacity test rig, the same stuff I always use for consistency. You can see the energy meter has been zeroed out. No energy has been removed from the battery yet. Go ahead and turn the inverter on now. And I will apply the load. The load is the same charger I used to charge the battery up, charging back to another 12 volt battery to economize. All right, and the load has stabilized. 53.62 amps, 675 watts, give or take on the Solar Edge X battery. And the temperature of the battery at the start of the test, 72 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Well, the Solar Edge X battery is dropping its voltage off pretty quick. Looks like it's gonna be a little slack on capacity as well. All right, the inverter went off on low voltage disconnect. So the final tally was 1196 watt hours. So this one's kind of crappy too, check that out. When it was new, 101 amp hours, 540 days later, very light duty by the way, 93.4 amp hours. Wow, that's 97 watt hours from new, 7.6 amp hours differential. Mm. So I've lost 97 watt hours in 540 days. That is 0.18 watt hours per day that is being lost from this battery. This battery was, well, was, excuse me, was part of a larger battery system. Never saw more than maybe three amps of current in or out of the battery. In a temperature controlled environment, very light usage, not really much more hard of a life than just storage, really. A very easy life on this battery and already has lost a good bit of its capacity due to cell aging, degradation, whatever. I'm gonna go on an assumption now. What if I would have used this battery like the manufacturers claim that you can discharge it 80% of its total capacity and still get three, 4,000 cycles or whatever. What if I would have done it like that and beat on the battery, hit it 50, 60 amps every day? You know, it was rough on it. I bet those numbers will be a lot worse than that. This battery had an easy life. I, I'm surprised by these last couple of battery tests, you know, after letting them run for a few months that uh, capacity is, is dropping off that quick. Are we being lied to with the lithium iron phosphate providers? After seeing the capacity test on these last two cheap batteries, it makes me want to find a high quality battery that's been running for a while and do a capacity run on a name brand or a more premium battery. What do you think? Hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one.